Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought it was quite a long time I haven't filmed a proper haul for you. So today it is a big Spring summer haul is all the latest pieces I've ordered. I love all of them, so I can't wait to show you. And it's everything in a very neutral palette, like you normally find on my channel. Like if you look for neon colors, this is probably the wrong place to look for. <laughs> so it's everything in white, beige, like yeah, a very, very neutral Nikki's palette. <laughs> First up is this Cezanne 100% silk nude shirt. I love it, I love the color, I love the little ruffles at the front. It makes it very feminine and chic. And um, in terms of sizing, every time I order something from Cezanne, I size up. Their sizing comes quite small, plus I am quite tall, which is something that really doesn't go together so i went up to a size 12 and the sleeves are rather short so to be honest i wouldn't have minded even to be bigger so a size 14 so i'm not gonna send it back i'm gonna keep it and most probably in summer i would wear it with my sleeves up anyways I'm planning on wearing this in different ways, um, so I like it for a more casual look, just out of my trousers or jeans, and I only bottom the first, like the middle buttons, and then I leave it open here and here, but you can also tuck it in for a more elegant look, and uh, eventually, in summer, you can also wear it. With the knot. It's 95 euros which for a hundred percent silk piece I think is a very good price so I'm very very pleased with this one. Moving on is another blouse as well from Cezanne. What I love about Cezanne all the time it is the fabric composition. This one is cotton and linen. Perfect for summer is all you want to wear. I sized up as well to a size 12 slash 42 It depends on which language you check out the website Anyways in this one it is perfect. I don't need to go more up So I think if you in this one you can either order your own size because maybe you don't like to have all this fabric here I always tend to go for a bit of an oversized fit so I would say that this one is like true to size or you need to size up once, like no more. And um, so it's like off-white, three-quarter sleeve and then you have, it's not buttons, so it's not a shirt, it's a blouse. And then you have this like all embroidery all around here and around your uh, sleeve and the sleeve here are elasticated. So it feels really floaty, I think it's a very comfortable blouse for summer. It is 90 euros. Pretty happy with that as well. Next up as well from Cezanne is a crochet top. I wear crochet tops so much in the summer because you know when you want to wear something that is like really really light, that is like too hot to wear anything but then you want still to be cute. So it cannot be just like all the time a plain linen or cotton vest. You want that little extra detail and I love crochet and every time I see something crochet I order it. <laughs> so I have two crochet tops actually in today's haul. But the first one, this one, is from Cezanne. It is a sand color and if you've seen my video from last week you've seen this styled but I was wearing a black bra underneath so I thought I quickly show you again in this haul to wear it, to style it in a different way. So I'm not wearing a bra today, so it's not, because somehow, now we're going very into detail, somehow like the open detail is on the side, so it's not too revealing. And to be honest, I have very small boobs, so I don't mind to go braless. But if you want to see it with a black bra, you can quickly check 
my other video from last week. I'm gonna pop it down below in the description box. I love the spaghetti strap and also last week in the other video I wore it tucked in and I wanted to show you today just like loose like this. It is 65 euros of course 100% cotton and I've ordered a size large and as just mentioned this is the other crochet top. This is from another store. It's slightly less expensive. It is 49 euros. Of course crochet is always a bit more expensive than a plain cotton top because it's more work. Uh, and this one has like a different, di like, um, it's very similar, I'm trying to find differences, like to justify the fact that I need both. <laughs> so it's lighter, it's a, a sort of like off-white with like buttons at the front, so I really really like the little buttons. It's kind of cropped, but you don't notice now because I'm wearing it with like really high-waisted pants and it's probably just the way I would wear it. Um, I'm wearing a size large and it is quite baggy here, but I do like it in summer. I really like the detail here. I think it's a very cute top and all this stuff that I'm showing you now, I'm wearing these at the moment underneath blazers and I think they're very chic, they're perfect and then later in the summer take off the blazer and just wear it like this. Perfect. So just quickly to show you how it looks underneath a blazer and I love it. I do have in this whole like three blazers so um, I'm gonna go through all of them in details in a bit. Talking about perfect pieces to go under a blazer is camisole. I love again a camisole that I wear a lot now under blazers and then in summer just like that. And um, this is 100% viscose, it's from another store, it is 39 euros. I love the color because I have a lot of like really light off-white camisoles or black, so I don't have anything in this color. And they look even better when they're like tucked in your trousers. And what I like about this is that the spaghetti strap, but it is adjustable, and it is adjustable in the way that then you have this one, like these little straps loose. I think it makes it a little cute extra detail. So, yeah, love it. The last top, I'm trying to divide the whole into categories. So we did tops first and then we carry on with the rest. So is this Horson and Iris? Iris? I don't know, it's probably the worst pronunciation. Um, is this Horson and Iris uh, top? Um, this was a bit of a splurge for a crop top and um, I've ordered it on net porte it is, I paid 210 euros. I know it's a lot but it's a sort of statement piece and I had my eye on this already last summer. So, was it last summer or last winter? Well, it was at least six months I had my eyes on this top. So um, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna order it. I was a bit confused about the sizing because basically I didn't want it too tight because I also want to layer it on top of a t-shirt, but at the same, so I've ordered a size medium, but at the same time, uh, because my worry was basically that if I was ordering a size large, this one that should sit just under my boobs, it would go too low and then it would make sense. So I've ordered a size medium and it's just perfect. So I think I would have liked it like let's say half size is more, but it doesn't exist. So, <laughs> so this is, uh, I show you on so you understand what I was talking about. So this, it cannot go too low otherwise it doesn't make sense. But at the same time, I didn't want my boobs to be like squashed. So I think it's just the perfect size. Anyways, in order to justify the 210 euros of this top, I'm planning on wearing it at least three ways. One way it is layered on top of a t-shirt, like I'm just gonna pop a picture here from the website so you can see it. And then I want to wear it at the beach as a bikini more, you know, if 
you know, when you go up on lunch or for a drink in the evening. Um, so I'm planning like high-waisted bikini bottom in black and also underneath a blazer. I really like it. So I'll just show you again with this blazer. So like this. And it's 100% um, cotton and it's a sort of like lightweight uh, knitwear so um, stays quite rigid and the last thing and then I don't wanna just talk about this stuff in the whole of, uh, in the whole haul but basically if you size up too much then the straps are too long and then it gets too low so it's tricky and you really need to get the perfect size if you order this one so I am normally a size medium, I've ordered a size medium, so I would say it comes through to size unless you have like flat, if you have no boobs and like you are completely flat, so maybe then you have to size down, but I would say it's true to size. Moving on to another category, bottoms. So I finally uh, can talk about these trousers that I've been wearing since the beginning of the haul and I love them and it is a new brand I've discovered recently and I think you probably saw some pictures on my Instagram like of a white floaty uh, pleated skirt um, is Ivy and Oak and I think I haven't mentioned it on my YouTube channel yet and I'm loving it very nice quality very chic and it is a little bit slightly more pricey than Cezanne but for the quality and for the pieces that are quite elegant and chic, I think it's still a very good price. So these trousers, I was on the hunt for floaty summer trousers, so I'm really happy I found these. They 159 euros. I've ordered a size 38, so they true to size. They very, very, they're not very long. On me, nothing is ever very long, so they're quite long. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. And because I think they're like meant to be worn with the high heels, but I would probably wear it with flats, so I have all the extra length, or with like kitten heel or like low heel. 159 euros is a viscose blend material, really nice, nice uh, loose fit, and I'm actually... Um, I, I was wishing that they had it in white as well, but I wanted to try it in one color first and see how they look. And now I'm going to be off on the website and check if they do it in white as well. And if they do, I'm going to order the white color as well because I really, really like the fitting of these. Next up is a skirt, is a maxi skirt as well from Ivy and Oak. It is 139 euros and I've ordered a size 38 so true to size high-waisted very long I did have something similar last summer from Topshop if you remember from my Instagram it was like a polka dot dress I really did enjoy the dress last summer so I thought I'm loving maxi skirt so much at the moment so when I saw it on the website I loved it it's fully lined so it is as I said before Slightly on the um, more expensive price point, but it does repay in quality. Next up is another skirt. is a midi skirt from another store. It's slightly um, on a cheaper price point than Ivy and Oak. This is 79 euros. Again, amazing material. It is 100% linen and is like wrap. So basically, I sized up in this one as well because I want it to be, it's a midi skirt, but I want it to be as long as possible. So I sized up to a size 40 to get extra length, but because it's like wrap, like I can tie it as much as I want, so it doesn't really make a difference on my waist. So that's why like you can play around with it. And then I love this like big ruffle on the side. It's already like a statement piece, so I can wear it with like just a plain t-shirt and some jewelry and I feel that it's already a really nice outfit. Next up is for me another essential for my spring summer wardrobe, it is white jeans. I love another store's jeans, 
I have so many in like all the blue washes and I did have from last summer a pair of denim sort of culotte so they were like wider and shorter they're still online by the way and but these are like proper like high-rise jeans they do come quite tight so I've ordered my size in, is a 28 well I'm normally 27 but I ordered a 28 because I like it a bit loose while this 28 it is quite tight and I didn't have a big lunch today it is 100% organic cotton and no stretch so but you know denim by the time you wear it it always stretches a bit so it should be fine and I love especially another story is jeans in the summer because on me they are a little bit shorter than other brands so I do prefer to wear them in the spring summer rather than in winter that way I don't like to flash my ankle in winter while it is the perfect length for me in the summertime so these are a keeper as well now moving into dresses I have one dress <laughs> my first my very first of this season very summer dress is from Cezanne I love it and this is the classic dress that you wear so or at least I wear so much in the summer it's cute the perfect color is easy to wear it is 100% cotton so you can wash it in the washing machine and it is a little bit on the pricey side for this sort of dresses because this style you can find so many on the high street but this is a I feel like it's like a proper one It's 135 euros It's full of details so you have lace at the front all here is lace and at the back as well you have frill on the sleeves you have a high neck made of lace as well what is not to like about this dress is just perfect in terms of sizing i uh sized up to a size i sized up loads to a size 14 because it is a short dress so i wanted more length for the rest i don't mind if it is a little bit roomy here and here because in the summer i don't want to wear anything too tight and i think it's actually quite flattering that is like very straight and you know I don't think it looks big it is big like if you look on the website how the model is wearing it it's probably a bit more tight like this but I do prefer this style and what I really like and what I was planning on this dress is to wear it now with blazers I love blazers on top of dresses uh, this season so this is how I'm planning to wear it at the moment until summer decides to arrive. <laughs> now since I showed you the blazer with the dress, let's talk about the blazers. I have three blazers, they're all from Ivy and Oak. Really happy with them. Um, I already had one that I was wearing it, I think in the London vlog. And if you remember, like I wore it almost every day. I love their blazers. I think it's a very, very good price point. This is 129 euros, fully lined. It is very well made with pockets. So I think it is exactly what you want to pay for a good blazer. It's not too expensive. It's not overpriced. It's single breasted, one button. It comes quite long. In order to have this fit, I sized up to a size 44. I like big everything. I like especially big blazer. I like long blazers. I like big shoulders. So if you do like this fit, I would say size up twice already. I, I even wear menswear blazers. So like this is the fit I like. If you If you like a proper fitted blazer more on a classic side then just go with your size um, anyways love this color I didn't have I did have a camel blazer but like darker and this is more of a summer shade it's called cinnamon color on the website and uh, I think it looks really really good with white and I'm really happy with it 
Next up is another blazer as well from Ivy and Oak. It's a different um, fit. So this is a long blazer. So I only sized up to a size 42. Still quite big. <laughs> only a size 42. Um, anyways, because it's already like longer shape. So um, I thought a 42 would be big enough. And it is. I like it. Single breast again. It's quite roomy, so I can also wear it bottom up. I don't think I will ever do it, but I do have the option. It's long enough on the sleeves, the shoulders are good, so very good fitting, 139 euros and fully lined as well. There's pockets, yeah, you can open them here. Yeah, there's pockets and uh, again, very good staple like this sort of blazers if you treat them well like you buy it once and then you wear it for years like these are more specific for spring summer autumn like it's not really winter colors but i believe that these ones you can wear it for the next three to five years no kidding these are like really good quality blazers and very classic and staple so it's not something that will ever go out of fashion the third and last blazer is also from ivy and oak it's completely different from the previous two so like less classic is a style that i really like this spring um so it's like a cropped blazer so that's why i'm back in my jeans and t-shirt because this is a styling that i prefer rather than with dresses otherwise to me it gets too classic it is a blazer that for example if you have a wedding and you need to cover your shoulder is a blazer that i would consider it's like an ivory color can be very elegant so you can dress it up or down easily Personally, um, since I don't have any wedding coming up, looks like my friends are like me, they like together with their boyfriend, not getting married, so we don't have the chance to dress up. <laughs> but I prefer it on a jeans and t-shirt style. So in order to have, again, more room and have it a bit more loose, um, I sized up to a size 44, otherwise to me it was... If it was fitted, it was a little bit too preppy, if you know what I mean. So I want it a bit like more cool-ish. Um, what I love about this, it comes with the shorts as well. So it's like a combination that you can do. I think I'm going to order the shorts as well because I wanted to try the jacket first. Really liked it and the shorts are sort of like Bermuda shorts, a bit long. And that you can wear it together or like separate. So I'm going to link it down below so you can take a look. And this side, this jacket, I don't know why, it went on the sales, so it's now like less than a hundred euros. So if you like it, I advise that you grab it quickly because it's gonna go very soon. The last piece of this haul is a bag, it's the Lowy Raffia bag. I've ordered it together on net a with the top. Now, this is a bag that I already liked it from last summer, but I didn't buy it because at one point it was sold out everywhere so this year in the spring is like okay i'm gonna buy it now because i know that it's gonna sell out again so i bought mine on net a -Porte. i saw it sold out again so i'm gonna link down below like other retailers that have it available at the moment if you like this one grab it because it's a heat of the summer and um i think it's gonna end up like last year that it's gonna sell out and it's not gonna come back until next year so it is an expensive raffia bag I know you can find these bags for like 20 quid at the market I do have them as well I wanted something that I could wear a bit more dressy with the outfit in the city as well so I went for the lowy one is on the around like the 300 euros price point but you do have really nice leather details so like the handles are leather you can adjust it so you can make it longer or shorter and then you have this lowy leather patch at the front it's a sort of bag that i wear so much in the summer it's i can fit a lot in it so like beach city wherever i'm doing in the summer like travel bag when i go on the plane like wherever i think i'm doing in the summer i think i can fit this bag in so that's why i decided to invest in it really happy with it 
Anyways, this is the last piece of this huge haul. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what was your favorite pieces. And um, that's it. Bye.